I've done a few gigs for Saquon Barkley and did his golf outing. I shot a party for them and then a lot of private workouts like at his house or, or just like on the football field with other NFL players. I wouldn't say I'm his guy, but like I'm one of the few people that he reaches out to when it comes to getting that content together. What's going on? It's Marquise Pickering here, the athletic content coordinator for the College of Staten Island, also known as Picks Picks on Instagram, where I've shot many high schools and elementary schools around Staten Island. My mom's a single parent. We grew up in St. Mark's across the street from Curtis High School. So I'm very sure you can just picture what the neighborhood was like, but she did a great job of just keeping me away from that type of lifestyle. She worked two jobs. So growing up, she would be working her job and I'll be playing football. And I kind of took football as an outlet for life. I played at Staten Island Boys and up the block is where my grandmother lived. So my mom, she would drive me to practice or I'd have a coach drive me to practice. And then after practice, I'd go right back to my grandmother's house and I'd stay there till 11, 12 o'clock until my mom got out of work. I went to Patrice, I excelled really well there. And then I got a few looks in colleges. I was on pace to run for 2000 yards my senior year. My very last football game in high school, I ran for a 365, I had five touchdowns and I took a helmet to the quad and it gave me a six inch hematoma on my thigh and it completely locked my knee. And after that, the, the college visits and all that started to dwindle down. I remember I had a visit from Syracuse and that was probably the biggest thing that ever happened. Cause I was like, whoa, like, all right, maybe I can get out of here, play division one at a, at a big college like Syracuse like that. And it kind of hurt. Cause now it was like, my dreams are slipping away from me. Pace, they gave me the opportunity to play. It was tough. I came into college, I was like 160 and I'm going up against a 20, 21 year old running back that has a kid or something, you know, like I'm, I'm 18 years old and tiny, but you got to just dig it out. And once the college, the coaches and everyone sees how hardworking you are, they begin to trust you. And I kind of always had that hardworking mindset that the things that you work hard for, they're going to reward yourself later on in life. And uh, luckily that happened. Being a college athlete, it's a full-time sport. You wake up at five in the morning, you don't go to bed until 11, 12 at night because you have your practice in the morning, class, lift, another practice, class, and then you might have a work-study job at the end of the day. And then I realized like, I can't do this for X amount of time. Like I need like a stress reliever. So my stress reliever was, I was taking pictures on my iPhone. My, my teammates, you're, there are 86 of them, those become your clients. So you start taking pictures of them and then they start posting the pictures and then it kind of spreads around campus that, hey, like this guy takes pictures and he's, he's okay at it. And then I took a photography class. That class taught me more so just the basics of photography, but going out on the field and experiencing everything on your own, that was kind of like more self-taught. I loved it. I loved the freedom that it gave me and, it, and then it, it took off from there. October 2017, my mom asked me what I want for Christmas. I told her, I was like, hey, like, can you invest in my future? Would you be able to buy me a camera? <laughs> so she picked up her, her second job, said she got me a Canon Rebel T6. I'll never forget, I came home and she, she gave it out to me. And then I put it on Snapchat, I was like, I'm gonna make my mom ritual for this. And then from there, I kind of just like locked in and I was like, this is what I'm gonna do. My mom, she took the extra effort to go out and get something for me because she believed in my, my dreams. So I'm just gonna go out even harder and do what I gotta do from there. I did a job for TJ Tibbs, the interim athletic director for CSI at the time. His nephew, Sam Martin, he was going to Temple and he was like, we're looking to do like a, a release to, to say that we committed to there. So I was like, yeah, like I'll help you out. We shot that in the park in West Brighton. I did like a whole documentary kind of thing. I, I've never done that before. And that was the summer where I just started doing my video work. He asked me, he was like, how much do I owe you? I was like, to be honest, like you don't owe me anything. Like I'm just like grateful that I got the opportunity to take care of this for you and Sam. A little bit before that, like setting up the whole the shoot with Sam, he was talking like, what, what, like, what was I doing? I told him over for Apple. He was like, what do you see yourself doing? I was like, to be honest, I really just want to take the photography route more seriously. And I want to just, if I could take it into full time. So he was like, we may have a position like available for this, the stuff that I'm doing now. So I, I jumped on board and I said, yeah, like, let's do it. Summer 2021, uh, a friend of mine was like, hey, Saquon Barkley has a, has a camp coming up. Like, do you want to shoot it? So I come down to the camp. It was my first time like being around celebrities and all that. And I was like, all right, we're a little nervous, but we're just gonna do it. They're not actually playing. They're just helping out kids. So I'm gonna shoot it, it's gonna be fine. I saw Saquon and all the other photographers. They were like on the other side of the field. I saw him, I was like, you know, what? let me get these pictures before anyone else gets them. So I got it. I took it of him and I uploaded it immediately while I was on the field. And I posted it to my story and then it kind of blew up. He actually DM'd me back. He was like, hey, like, 
their stuff is dope, like let's work. He always kept in contact with me and he liked the work that I did. And I was like, you know what, like anything you need, like I'll take care of that. I've done a few gigs for Saquon. Like uh, I did his golf outing. I shot a party for them. And then a lot of private workouts like at his house or, or just like on the football field with other NFL players. I wouldn't say I'm his guy, but like I'm one of the few people that he reaches out to when it comes to getting that content together. He's very soft-spoken. You would think a guy that's like super jacked up and big like him and just like the face of the New York Giants or really New York sports would be really out there, but he's, he's a really cool, calm, collected guy. Whenever I'm with him, I don't see it as work. It's more or less like I'm hanging out with a, with a guy that's just like my friend. Since Saquon plays football and I play football, I've never brought it up to him. I'm so far past that now that where I don't think like it's important for me less to just share that but i'll probably tell him one day like hey like I used, we just like you but obviously he's way better than me but i used to be just like you one time in my life it's crazy i sound like i'm 40 years old but we're literally the same age it's just he's taking that route and i took that route i'm still climbing that mountain i feel like my end goal is to, to end up in mass square garden gotta go and then happens but it's it's it's, it's pretty it's pretty cool to see where i'm at now i've never thought that I had to go from shooting the spring games at Pace University to now shooting Saquon Barkley in the middle of his contract talks with the New York Giants and those pictures are on ESPN now. So it's been pretty dope.